My name is Yoshi Dong. I'm a jazz coordinator in FA Rome. And today we, I'm going to explain how the GIAS program, which is a globally important agriculture heritage system, relates to uh, agro-tourism, eco-tourism. Not only me, but also today, we are going to introduce several other country colleagues uh, working for the relevance of GIAS and agro-tourism. I'm, I'm very happy to see that Japanese, Korean, and the Chinese colleagues will introduce GIAS in the context of the agro-tourism. So let me share my screen. I think you can see it. Can you can you see? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let me explain. Just eight minutes. I have to skip several points very quickly. So this is a uh, GS entire GS designation procedure. Some of you may not be so familiar with the GS, but the GS is something like a proposal is made and regarding the unique agriculture system. And this proposal is uh, sent to FAO and FAO send an independent scientific advisory group established under the GS framework nominated by FAO Director General. This scientific advisory group make evaluation and final decision and selection of the GS site. This is similar process of the UN uh, UNESCO World Heritage. So after uh, the proposal is successfully adopted and endorsed at GS, the responsibility of the management, responsibility of the management of the designated GS site return to the original proposing countries and GS stakeholders of rural areas. So here we are recording, FAO is recommending to conduct dynamic conservation, which is a concept of conservation plus uh, dynamics, dynamic activities such as development of the site. So GS is recommending not only conservation, but also uh, development or adaptation of the site to the contemporary situations. So this dynamic conservation plays a critical role for management, good management of the GIS site. We are strongly recommended after the GIS is designated. And what we are expecting is that various type, many measures or actions should be taken in order to pursue good management. So promotion of tourism is one of the main and effective tools for achieving dynamic conservation. There are many other measures and uh, activities market promotion, conservation of ecosystem, and uh, empowerment with youth or uh, women. These are all many types of measures depending on the situation of the site, but uh, tourism promotion is one of the very effective uh, tools for uh, uh, GIS site. And this is the reason why GIS is uh, regarded as one of the contact point of the agriculture, uh, agri-tourism, agri ecotourism in FAO. And we're designated as a contact point in, the, in a collaborative work with UNWTO. So these are a typical just sites in the world. They're Kenya Maasai system, Mexico Chinampa, Chinese honey rice, Spanish salt uh, production site, Andean agriculture, Mount Kilimanjaro, agroforestry, floating garden, Bangladesh. There are many types of GIS sites in the world. We have 62 GIS sites in 22 countries right now. So in many GIS sites, uh, there are many activities depending on the situation to promote agro-tourism or eco-tourism or uh, gastronomy tourism or wine tourism or, or education tourism, depending on the situation of the uh, GIS site. And today, I, don't, I cannot step into in detail because there are many other speakers who will make a inter, detailed introduction. In case of Japanese Nishiawa steps of agriculture, this site is very uh, active for promoting agri-tourism. Agri Not only Japanese tourists and Asian tourists, they attract the foreign traveler from Europe like France. But uh, uh, some uh, expert from Nishawa is invited to make a presentation later on. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Chiloe Island, Chile. Uh, this island is very famous for preserving many uh, local varieties, potatoes, agriculture products. So gastronomy tourism is very promoted. And uh, North African, Gafsa, or Algeria and Tunisia, 
uh, just sites. They are also organizing students to visit their uh, sites and let them study. Educational tour. And in case of Italy, uh, not only this small uh, pro uh, Umbria province, but this red zone means a just site area, but the small just site hosts such a lot of agro-tourism uh, farmers. And this is the case of Spain, and they're pre preparing a museum or a plate for the visitors, and they have collaboration with the restaurant. And also in Sp Spanish uh, Valencia side, they are also using art for awareness enhancement for the general public. And also they established a cycling roads and also uh, set up uh, some uh, groups or association for promoting gastronomic tourism in, in this Valencia site. And also saw the site also they have a very active agro-tourism. Then when visit to look at the actual number of tourists, this is a case of Chinese. I think Chinese experts will explain later on. There is a clear uh, increased trend of the travelers coming to this jazz site in China, one China. As also in case of Japanese tea production jazz site, also the number of visitors has been increasing. And this is a case of uh, uh, Takachiho Shibayama site in Japan. They have established special group or association of tourists in collaboration with private and public sectors. And these entities uh, promote or arrange many activities of agro-tourism, farm stay or farming experiences, handcraft making experiences, cooking tourism food. And this is the case of China where the, the, the tourism revenue coming from tourism will assist the uh, economics of the farmers and the farmer can uh, maintain rice terraces based on the income from arising from tourism. I, I cannot explain later on uh, in detail. So the, so far we haven't had a very systematic information. We need to do, the, do it in the near future. But uh, sporadically, we, uh, the, based on the information we sporadically have, we can say that the GS has a high potential to provide, to provide attractive tourism and unique feature to just provide attractive points for tourists. And many just sites have been working very actively for promotion of agro-tourism. And this agro-tourism in just sites have a very different type of options. As I said, education tour, some GS sites takes the more form of gastronomy tourism wine tourism, ecotourism, urban rural exchange, and many types of menus can be prepared depending on the situation of the GS site. And GS site itself also needs to develop tourism for, for its economic vitalization to support the management of GS site. It is benefit for GS site. We need to develop the tourism. And there are many challenges. Uh, I have no time to explain detail, but we need to pursue sustainable tourism. Tourism should not over uh, uh, exceed uh, or replace agriculture. Tourism should be a supporting economic tools uh, for the maintenance of the just site. And so sustainable tourism should be maintained. And investment for accommodation is necessary. The support for more harm or the management of the hotels, the management tourism itself is necessary. Capacity building is necessary. And collaboration of stake, all stakeholders in the rural community is absolutely necessary. And regulation of agro-tourism, in, in this case, a national regulation or a regional regulation is also necessary in order to maintain the standard uh, level of uh, quality of, of tourism and financial support for agro-tourism necessary. These are uh, more or less very uh, critical for the starting of the, and maintenance of the good quality of, of tourism in the agriculture site. And we are trying to study and collect more information and work to have a better uh, knowledge management of the tourism. And uh, I'm going to propose to the UNWTO to have a study session to deepen the, our understanding of what is a sustainable agriculture in rural areas should be. And uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.